Hey guys, welcome to a quick little video about this here bad boy, the new uh, orange stamp. Uh, it's a, an amp in a pedal that was released at the NAMM Show 2020. It's essentially a pedal format of the uh, really, really popular Micro Terra. So it's uh, a little valve preamp section, a 20 watt uh, class D power section, effects loop, cab simulated output, button on the front, the foot switch on the front engages a boost thing. I'm going to tell you a bit more about it and do some tones on this afterwards. But really, the only question anybody wants to know is, in a jam situation, can this be used with a naughty drummer and an average bass player? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, so what you're going to hear in this first bit, I know, we, I know you can see mics on the cabinets. That's not what you're hearing on the first bit. This first bit is just a pair of room mics. Uh, no EQing, no mixing, no nothing. It's just, can it keep up? So, Mr. Pete, yes, no. take it away. In here, right? I think it did. I think um, it did. I so think it you, did. What were you? Everyone, you could hear it. I've got these on, I can still hear it. So, Tay could hear it, <laughs> Pete could hear it, I yeah. could hear it. Yeah, I think it's a pass. You know, I mean, we're, we're in a like a rehearsal studio size room, it might not be necessarily a gig size room, but well, I don't, depending, I mean, you know, I've played pops that's more than this. I think but. that's a win. <laughs> so, Mr. Pete, yes. Now let's switch over to perhaps close micing the cab and you take us through what the basic tones of it are, um, how you get a clean sound, how you get a okay. gain sound, what pedals you're using, all that kind of stuff. Super duper simple. On the front you've got a volume for the first sort of sta state of gain, you might say, a volume for when you click in the, the second stage, and then you've got a shape and a gain. So clean tones would be kind of like this, and it's, this is a clean straight in, there's no reverb or nothing, we haven't, we, this is like rock and roll style, rehearsal room, plug it in. We plugged into this 2x12 neodymium cab, uh, which is an, uh, it can run 8 or 16 ohm, I believe this is a 16 ohm cab, am I right? Something like that. So if I, for instance, want a little bit more volume on here, I just turn up the volume on volume one. It's still kind of clean. Uh, here's I'm just going to switch back to the the back pickup on this Les Paul, and of course there's going to be much more power going into it. If I want a little bit more gain on that, I just put the gain knob up. I mean, it sounds great. Uh, the and shape I, I can confirm there are no pedals on. That's There's what no I just pedals checked. on now. It's just running straight in. I've got a little uh, tune and a Dane in here and an echo, but just for some like echo. The shape knob does this. We turn all the way down. Almost like a. But it's, it's 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 more of a it's more of a tone than it is anything else. So I like to just keep it up about you know what is that for you three o'clock. Let's see how much gain there is in, in the oh. first channel. <laughs> It 
probably does get this one. Anyway, that's a little bit too much gain, I think. <laughs> uh, and then you could have volume two, so if you've got a solo, for instance, clean tone here. Oh, that would be your, like, what do you say, like, rhythm tone. Something like that. Click over to volume two. A little bit more. A little bit more. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. So you've got much more like a proper... And of course, again, <laughs> if you want the... Uh, it's, there's plenty of volume. This is full, so... It's very... Um, it's when it reaches maximum, though, it's very compressed. It's yes. not the kind of sound... I kind of think if you think about some of those big 100 watt tube amp sounds where it's massive and open and the bass and it feels like it's got great note definition, it's not that sound. No. It's, it's angry small amplifier kind of going rah, rah. Yes. In, in a good way. In a good way. So you ask, how does it do pedals? It's going to gain down, take the gain down, put the volume up. I mean, it's that sort of, it's got the, the because it's got the uh, tube in the front and it's a solid state, it's got that snap and it's mm. really direct. So I've got a gain, a, a Dane on the gain on the floor, on the Dane on the gain. I'll do this. A bit of air course and Keely, so it's just like a little. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And you love, Pete loves effects like reverb and, and delay stuff in the front end of the amplifier. He's not yes. a believer in the effects loop thing. Not necessarily. But it does exist. There is a yeah. buffered effects loop uh, on this, so you could, of course, if you're more into putting your reverbs and delays through the effects loop, knock yourself out. Because I tell you what I like about that when I, I do this. I, like. I tell you what I like, I like to, to do. do that. Because the delay what she get, said. gets the <laughs> at the end, isn't it? There is no delays. right and wrong when it comes to music and sound. There is only what you like. Exactly. There's all the best you can be. Yes. As long as you'll be nice. So, the only feature that we have not uh, demonstrated is the cabinet simulated output, which also doubles up as a headphone socket. Uh, I mean, you could throw me some headphones, Chris. Pete's got some settings. I am going to be your Guinea trustworthy Pete. source of whether this sounds all right <laughs> or not. Can you gain it up? Because that's sort of mediumly clean. That's a, it's a passable headphone sound. Yeah, but if you're sitting in your home, is, in your house, you know, it whatever. It is absolutely not. You pass these back. Uh, it is absolutely not two notes level cabinet emulated <laughs> output. It's okay. But, hey. I think I'd use it. I don't think many. I don't think many of you are going to find the cab sim is viable for you know, actual recording or live. Might, might be. If you, again, of course, if you're recording it into Logic, you've got, you can put additional IRs on it if you so wished and you could EQ it and stuff. But meh, I don't know that the, the, I would use it as a passable headphone output. Or you put this on your pedal board, last in the chain. If, you, uh, if your amp breaks down on a gig, you've got this in the end, you know, or put this in your gig bag and you've got it there, or you can sit at home with it on absolutely. a little pedal board, you know. Absolutely. Um, there you go, absolutely mondo. So we jam right. out, ladies and gentlemen. I think we should jam out, yeah. I mean, do you want to try and do something clean just stuff? a tiny bit cleaner? Because that's yes. where I think, you know, people will still go, ah, oh, but can you can you stay clean but and still this is kind of clean here. Listen to this. Because oh, I turned go. it down for you, Lee. <laughs> But, but here's, a fun, here's a funny bit. Just before you do it, there's a funny bit. As soon as I, if I put a boost in mm. from, the, from the Dane into it, so. 
It'll, I it, like it. It sounds great, mm. but it'll definitely crack. It'll yeah, definitely break overdrive. up. Anyway, anyway, we we'll jam out with this back with the room mics, or are you going to do like a more well, of a sort of professional mix? Let's do a mix? nice little professional mix at the end and see what that sounds like. So um, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Terror Stamp. Terence Stamp. Terence. Wasn't he an actor? <laughs> <laughs> Terence Stamp. Wasn't, wasn't he the baddie in Superman 2? I think he was. I think he was. Yeah. So on that note, Kryptonite is now orange. Let's do this. See you.